Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you, and I'm glad that you chose to spend some time with me today. Um, once again, don't forget to subscribe. Today, I'm going to be talking about ginger shots. And this is something that I like to do for myself and my husband. And I know that in the winter time, there's a lot of colds and a lot of flus and all these stuff to go around. I never got a flu shot. Don't plan on getting a flu shot. By God's grace, I'm still alive and well. So the ginger shot, I love ginger because of its benefits. It's so good for you in so many levels. Like ever since I was younger, growing up in Ghana, we always eat ginger. Whether if you have a cold, it'll be ginger cut up with a little bit of sugar on it and you just chew it by itself. Ginger tea, ginger this, ginger that. And it just helps clear out your um, sinus, release any mucus that's um, in your system. Like, it's good for digestive, it's good for when you are nauseous, it helps you get rid of the nausea. It, it's, so, it's so beneficial on so many levels. So I try to incorporate ginger in everything that I eat if it's possible, including my smoothies. My husband was recently sick and everything I made had ginger in it, ginger shots in the morning. He had, he had a cold for like three days and he was good to go. And once again, by God's grace, I haven't gotten sick yet because I drink just ginger shots every single morning. And you could buy it at the store, but you don't have to because you definitely make your own. And let me show you how to do it. So first, I prefer to get organic ginger because it's something that you're directly ingesting and it's not that expensive. I skin it with a carrot peeler. I don't skin it all the way because it's not necessary because you're going to be blending it anyway. So I'll skin it a little bit just to take some off. Um, I cut it up into small pieces. I will wash it. After I wash it, um, I put it in my blender and add some water and then I blend it. Super simple. After I blend it, I have a tea um, strainer and I'll put it in a jar. And I, I prefer the glass drop better than the plastic. So I just reuse applesauce jars or my pasta sauce jars, whatever jars you have, just reuse it guys. Let's let's help this planet, planet by reusing what we have instead of just always buying plastic or buying something new. And then to get all of the juice out of it, I get um, a spoon and just press it on so all the juice could come out of it. So then I'll pour it. I always make sure I stir it. Please don't forget to stir it because like I call it the meat, but the nutrients or whatever it settles at the bottom. So always stir it before you drink it. And I make a big, not a big batch, but a good batch that lasts us for about three days. And you just store it in your fridge. And every morning, you pour it, you drink it, and you're good to go. So you don't have to do it every single morning. That's why I like the glass bottles because they stay fresh, more fresh than the plastic. Um, and just store it in your fridge. Also, remember, when you're pouring it, you don't have to pour a lot. You don't need a full glass. No, your insides are going to flip out. You literally, it's just a shot. So if you have a shot glass, put it in there. If you don't, put in a regular glass and you just kind of eyeball it, but you don't need a lot. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you reap the benefits. And now let me take my shot. Hold on, stir all the way. And I'm used to it because I've been drinking ginger for so long. But if you're not, it's going to be really spicy for you. But you get used to it. Your tongue will get used to it. But I hope you enjoy it. Bye, guys. Once again, thanks for coming to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time. Bye.